There it is. The yellow is the dune field and the white is the national monument. So the winds come from the mountains and blow the sand into the dune field. And the water flows down from the mountains and brings the gypsum down. are always changing of course they never stay the same and we were reading in the visitor center that these yucca could have stems as long as 30 feet to keep them at the top of the dunes to deal with the changes of the dunes wild right just have to climb back up and not break your neck This sounds like a bad idea. Well, that didn't go as bad as I thought it was gonna go. Think, Bob. How is sledding? Um, it's sandy. Better than the great sand dunes? Yeah. Because you actually went somewhere. This uh, gypsum sand is more firm than the sand that we saw at the great sand dunes. Yeah. Right? Where's oh, Bird? Do oh, we need to help her? No, I think she's got it. Let's check. She's good. Birdie, you alright? All those tracks in front of you right there are some kind of animal. On tracks. Good job, Birdie. This is the Playa Trail, just a short little 1,200 foot long trail. The White Sands is at the bottom of a basin that gathers water from the surrounding mountains. The water has nowhere to go, so it sits here a few feet beneath the dry desert. When summer rains, the underground water level rises and it fills in the playas, which is what you see out there. And we did have rain a couple days ago. You can hear that jet, we're right next to the Air Force Base. And to the south of here, I believe. Yeah, to the south of here is the White Sand Missile Range run by the Army. Bird, what do you see? Oh. You can kind of see the crystals. <laughs>